We are Israelites. We are Israelites. Deuteronomy chapter 28, between 15 and 68, show us who the Israelites are, the children of the transatlantic slave trade. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 68 says, the enemies of the Israelites are those who bought us as born men and born women when we were offered for sale. Are the Edomites. Who are the Edomites, you may ask? The Edomites are the Caucasians. Encyclopedia Britannica. Under the heading, Jerusalem, subheading, Romans rules, it says that King Herod was an Edomite. King Herod is a Caucasian. Remember, the father of the Edomites is Esau. When Esau was born, Isaac saw it fit to describe Esau. He was red all over and hairy like a cloak. The description of a Caucasian. Right? Remember, the Most High, all through the scriptures, declare his love for the Israelites. He says that the Israelites are the apple of his eyes, and anyone who touches the apples of his touches the Israelite touches the apple of his eyes. He says that the Israelites have gone out whoring. They don't deserve his love. But if you come back to me, I will accept you. I will be your God and you will be my people. He said, I will never turn my back upon the Israelites. In Malachi chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, he says, I hate Esau and I love Jacob. He said, the Edomites are a board of wickedness and I will hate the Edomites forever. So here we have a situation where the Mosai says that he will hate the Edomites and he loved the Israelites. All through the scriptures, he declared his love for the Israelites. One time, the only time in scriptures, the Mosai said he hate anyone or anything was in Malachi. Chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, where he declared that he hate Esau and he hate the Edomites and he will hate them forever. People are going something somewhere with this thing. The Olympic Games, sports and entertainment is controlled by the Edomites. The same people who the most I see he hates. We know from all scriptures, the Edomites hates the Israelites with a passion that the Israelites would never be able to understand. It's all there in the scriptures, even when the Israelites were in Egypt, the Edomites come together with the Ishmaelites and convince them to come and fight the Egyptian in order for, to get them to destroy the Israelites. You have to remember this. The Edomites will never give anything to the Israelites for free because the Edomites don't love the Israelites. They hate us with a passion that we will never be able to understand. That is why in baseball, it was restricted to whites only. Every sport that the Edomites created was restricted to whites only because they hated us. They didn't want us participating or being a part of anything they were doing. Do you think all of these rappers, all of these Israelite rappers, these black rappers and black entertainers and black sports star, do you think that the Edomites will pay them a million dollars to play sports? No. Anytime you reach where the Edomites have chosen to give you millions of dollars, it's because they want you to be a hireling 
one who is able to leave the, lead the children of the Most High astray. And in order for you to lead the children of the Most High astray, you have to be committed to them and them only. You think Michael Jordan became such a mighty athlete just because he has skills? No people. Do you think Michael Jordan, the shoes of Jordan, was able to sell 1.2 billion worth of shoes in the fourth season while Nike was only expecting $3 million worth? It's not by chance. It's all by design. Remember we are dealing the Simon Boyle's Olympic snafu. A message for the Israelites. If I'm going somewhere, anytime, you are allowed in the inner accordions of the Edomites and allowed to make millions of dollars put by the Edomites, you have to make a sacrifice to their God, Lucifer, the one who the Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 says, is cast out and woe be unto man. There are two systems of operating in this world. The Edomites owns nothing. Everything belongs to the Most High. Everything on this earth was placed here for the Israelites. But the Edomites controls everything. So if an Israelite wants something, he has to humble himself and go to the Edomite to get it. All of these people with their magnificent talent have to be willing to commit spiritual suicide in order to get the opportunity to entertain the Edomites. It's like, I love you so much, I will kill myself so I can sing for you. I will kill myself so I can play basketball to your entertainment. That is what they're saying. That is what they're doing. They are committing spiritual suicide because they have to sacrifice to Lucifer, all of them, from Michael Jordan, all of those. Mike, do you think? Michael Jordan's father died like that? No. He was a sacrifice. He was a sacrifice for his continual prosperity. Jennifer Hudson, as soon as she gets started, her brother and mother was murdered brutally. A sacrifice 